Welcome to the finance meeting for Monday, February 1st. Uh, Madam Clerk, please read item number one. Appointment. Adias Pierre of Brockton as a member of the Cemetery's Board of Trustees for a five-year term ending in January 2021. Invited Adias Pierre. I did receive notification from Mr. Pierre. He had a family emergency this evening and could not make it tonight. Make a favorable recommendation back to the full council. Second. Motion made and seconded for a favorable recommendation to the full city council. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is recommended favorably. Item number two. Appointment Stephen Pina of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Park Commissioners for a five-year term ending in January 2021. Invited Stephen Pina. Ms. Pina, would you like to step forward? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, good evening. I just want to say um, how uh, proud I am to have the opportunity to serve the city, the great city that I was born and raised in. Thank you very much. Favorable recommendation back full council. Second. 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 Motion made and second to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. Item number three. Appointment Craig Pina of Brockton as a member of the planning board for a five-year term ending in January 2021. Invited Craig Pina. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Pina. Good evening. Number two. <laughs> I'm number one. <clears throat> Anything no, you'd like to two. say? <laughs> I'm just honored to be, to be nominated. I look forward to serving the city. Recommend favorably to the full city council. Second. second. Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably to the full the city motion. council. Oh, is that the, no. Question? On the motion. On the motion. Yes. Our ordinances require that members of the planning board have a term that expires. Second. Mo uh, actually, uh, nope. so you want to amend the order? Amend the order. So uh, in that case, we'll need to withdraw the first uh, motion, please. Councilor Sullivan, could you? Uh, I think uh, you came from I over there. I withdraw the first motion. Second. First motion is withdrawn, and now you'd make a motion to amend the... Motion to amend the order indicating that the chairman will expire the first Monday in March. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to amend the order to... Show that the uh, term will end the first Monday of March 2021. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment carries. Now I'd entertain Make a second. favorable recommendation as amended back to the full council. Second. second. Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is approved. Uh, item number four. Appointment James Cobb of Brockton as a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Invited James Cobb. Uh, Councilor Farwell. by the council and the last sentence indicates that all appointments shall be made in March of each year. Uh, it seems to me that if we don't follow the ordinances it's pretty tough to ask other department heads and citizens to follow the ordinances and I'm also concerned that if we went forward and someone was aggrieved by a decision of the Conservation Commission would they challenge the validity of the appointment. So I would suggest and I would move that we table items four, five and six until we receive further information on how best to proceed and, and comply with the ordinances. Second. Seconded. Motions made and seconded to uh, act on items four, five, and six collectively and to table those. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, Madam Clerk, would you read items five and six and then we will table the three? Uh, Appointment. Samuel Ward of Brockton as a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. And appointment of Ray Henningsen of Brockton as a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Uh, Councilors, uh, have Mr. approved Mr. Table. Chairman, if, if I could, and I, I do concur with uh, Councilor at Large Farwell, but I, I do want to recognize both Mr. Ward and Mr. Henningsen are, are in the chamber tonight. Right, yes. And Mr. Cobb, I thank you for I'm being sorry, here. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobb as well, who stood up at the podium, exactly. Uh, so items four, five, and six will be tabled, and uh, 
we'll get uh, clarification from the uh, from our council on uh, on that order. Okay. Item number seven. Appointment Tony Branch of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Invited <coughs> Tony Branch. Good evening, Bishop. Good evening, and God bless everyone here. Thank you. Would you like to say anything? I want to say that I think it's an opportunity, a uh, great opportunity to help the city of Brockton with respect to diversity, and uh, I thank the uh, mayor and the city council that if you accept me for the appointment. Question? Favorable favorable recommendation, recommendation back Second. to the council. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded for a favorable recommendation back to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. Thank you very much. Item number eight. Appointment. Paylege Muslin of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Invited Paylege Muslin. Good evening, Mr. Muslin. Good evening. Anything you'd like to say? I would like to say thank you to all of you to giving this opportunity to be part of such a great community. I move to recommend favorably Second. to the City Council. Second. Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. And thank you for serving. Thank you. Item number nine. Appointment. Linnell Silva of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in January, January 2019. Invited Linnell Silva. Good evening. good evening. Anything you'd like to say? Yes, I say good evening, everyone. And thank you for the opportunity to serve on the Diversity Commission for the city of Brockton. Thank Motion you. to recommend favorably. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably back to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. Thank you for your service. Item number 10. Appointment. Janet Trask of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Invited Janet Trask. Would somebody take her picture? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This one's a little sketchy here. <laughs> I'm very honored to serve on the Diversity Commission of Brockton once again, and Brockton is a city that I love, and I think that the future is bright for Brockton. Thank Move you. to approve. Second. 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 Yeah. Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. Thank you very much. Uh, item number 11. Appointment. Maria Docanto of Brockton as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in January 2019. Invited Maria Ducanto. Hi, good evening. Thank you for everyone for this great honor, and I will do my best to serve the city of Brockton. Make a favorable recommendation. Back in. Second. Council. Motion made and uh, seconded to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably. Thank, Thank you. you for your service, Mr. Ocanto. Item number 12. Order that the city hereby adopts the Old Colony Region Natural Hazard Mitigation Plan as the jurisdiction's hazard mitigation plan and resolves to execute the actions in the plan. Invited Stephen Hook, Jr., BEMA Director. Good evening, Mr. Hook. Mr. Chairman, if I could. I, uh, Councilor Sullivan. I, I signed this order, uh, and Mr. Hook and I chatted again today, and, and he's going to be able to inform the council. But at the end of the day, it, if this is adopted, it gives the city a great ability to apply for grants. Uh, and there was input relative to this plan, and Mr. Hook can go into further detail from different departments here within City Hall. Uh, and, and it's actually it's going to be a really beneficial thing for the City of Brock. And Mr. Hook, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Good evening, Councilors. Uh, so this uh, ha natural hazard mitigation plan was uh, completed by Old Colony Planning uh, using grant funding. Uh, there were a number of uh, this was a regional grant with 15, 14 other communities. Uh, identifies areas where uh, future grant funding could be used to mitigate potential hazards in the city. Um, <clears throat> like Councilor Sullivan said, this plan is strictly for grant purposes uh, and our, our ability to apply for grants in the future. This plan does not require any action by the city other than the adoption of the plan. Um, and it was the input of the plan was made by several different departments within the city. Make a favorable recommendation back Second. to the full council. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to recommend favorably to the full city council. All those in favor? All those opposed? Recommended favorably to the full city council. Moment of personal privilege. You may, Councillor. Um, I'd like to remind everybody that Neighbor Works of Southern Mass is offering a free tax preparation um, 
for families that earn 50000 and under. And this tax preparation started um, today, February 1st, and will go on until April 11th. So uh, they're offering it actually at the Brockton Public Library, at the main library, and also at uh, Massasoit. If you're looking for more information, please contact NeighborWorks of Southern Mass. I would also like to remind everybody to please go out and vote tomorrow. There is a special election, and we need to clarify who can vote because it's only certain wards and precincts. It is Ward 2A, which is Douglas House, 2B, Manning Towers, 2C, Senior Center, 2D, War Memorial, 3A and B, at South Middle School, 3C, Kennedy School, 4A, Emanuel House, 4D, Campello High Rise, 5A Eastside Library, 7A North Middle School, and 7B Bel Air High Rise. If you don't vote, those are the only voting po polling places that will be open tomorrow. So if you don't vote there, then they, your polling place won't be open. So I hope everybody goes out and votes. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Sullivan. Chairman, a moment of personal privilege. You may. Uh, members of the, of the council and, and the general public, uh, the, the city council, at least myself as a council at large, and I know Councilor Stadinsky and I spoke to Councilor at large far well, in the near future we'll be hosting an informational session for the citizens here of the city of Brockton relative to some actions that were done in the federal court last week. I think there's some confusion. Of course, uh, the defendants, some of the defendants were dropped from the federal lawsuit relative to the proposed power plant. And the, the purpose of the meeting is going to uh, explain uh, where we stand because I do think there's some misnomers in the, in the uh, local newspapers. So a date to be determined. It will happen this month. I believe it's going to be either at the Davis School or South Middle. Uh, but as soon as we clarify that, uh, I, I, will, uh, I will speak through the chair and we'll get a firm date. But please bear in mind the city council is working on doing that. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Beauregard. Yeah, I'd like a moment of personal privilege. I am very excited that this evening we're talking about the Diversity Commission coming back to the city on the first day of the beginning of Black History Month. Nice start. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Rodriguez. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for a personal, I don't know if it's a personal privilege, but I'd just like to announce that uh, we're going to hold a, uh, a Real Estate Committee meeting on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, right here at the, uh, in the uh, uh, council room. Uh, so the members of the committee who are myself, Shana, uh, Council Barnes, Council Borgard, Council Lely, and Council uh, Stadensky, if we can meet here at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, it would be greatly appreciated. We do have a few items on the agenda that we need to take care of. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anything else? Just want to say good luck to our two uh, colleagues tomorrow and our former co colleague, uh, Councillor. And uh, I know how hard you both worked uh, for the last months, and good luck. We're adjourned. <laughs>